Hey everybody, I'm back. I just wanted to take an opportunity during this um, season as we prepare for Christmas to share with you guys some of my favorite things that have happened in Christmas's past. And one of the big things was a very special present that I got one year. Um, at, the, at that point in time, I was in middle school, and I have always loved animals, especially horses, and I had been taking riding lessons, and I had what I had thought was a journey with my riding instructor to go find a new lesson horse. I found out on Christmas Day was, in fact, me going around with my riding instructor and fellow students to find my Christmas present. My parents purchased me a horse that year and while I no longer have this horse because he needed a home with the rider who's a little bit more experienced than me come to find out it was one of the best Christmases that I have had in my life and I'm so thankful that I am in communication with the lady that owns him now so I get to learn about him as he grows and I get to watch his journey and it was just something for me that ins continued to inspire my love for horses and I believe inspired me to pursue veterinary medicine and it was just a very special Christmas and I can remember that they handed me a picture of me riding him and they put it on a piece of paper and typed up Merry Christmas under it and put it in a clear um, protector type frame and they handed that to me on Christmas morning and I remember thinking oh this is a nice picture and <laughs> they had to inform me that no, in fact, that they had purchased me this particular horse and that he was mine. And it was just something that was very special for me that year and continues to be special for me even though he is no longer directly a part of my life. He is a part of my story. He is a part of a learning experience that I went through. And I I still love horses and I would love to be able to own one again in the future. But that's that's one of the big Christmas memories that comes to my mind. But just time with family each year is something that I completely treasure and especially in these past couple of years am learning that it is very, very important to treasure those times because you don't know how long you're going to have someone in your life. And I'm so thankful to have so many people in my life that I care so much about, that care so much about me. And I'm so thankful for the meals that we share together, the stories that we have. And that's kind of why I wanted to share this vlog during this season with y'all. And another Christmas that comes to mind is one that my family still will um, pick on me about on occasion. It's been a couple of five or seven years ago that this happened, maybe. And so I was in my mid to late 20s. But I'm not much of a morning person. I'm trying to learn how to be a morning person. But there is one morning a year where I am a morning person, and that is Christmas Day. And this particular year, I woke up sometime around 5 a.m. after getting just a few hours of sleep, perhaps. And because I, I struggle to get to sleep on Christmas Eve, and then I wake up typically very early on Christmas Day. This morning, I woke up before 5 a.m. And traditionally, my mother will have Christmas music playing on the um, radio downstairs or the CD and I woke up that particular morning and that music was playing and I went down there to sit down and <laughs> I forget who all was here and 
I woke up and I'm sitting down there in the living room, center of the house, and I thought I was being rather quiet. Evidently, I got a little bit too into the music and I was singing along and proceeded to wake my entire family up <laughs> around 5 o'clock in the morning with my beautiful voice. Um, so they they pick on me pretty bad about that one. They told me that day that I was not allowed to take a nap later on that day because I had woken them all up. But yes, at 20-something years old, I proceeded to wake my family up early in the morning by singing Christmas music. And that is the funniest Christmas story to me ever. Um, <laughs> it, it proceeds to crack me up. They proceed to pick on me about it all these years later and it just is a memory that I will treasure and just each year opening up the boxes with the ornaments and putting the ornaments on the tree is something that is very special to me. I'm able to go back and look at memories from years and years ago of things that I helped make or just memories of Christmases past or years past and the things that have happened in life and having those memories, having that time to remember those things is something that I am just so incredibly thankful for and it's part of why I absolutely love this time of year and this year has been a struggle and a blessing in that both of my mom's parents are no longer with us and my my grandfather having just passed away um, back in September of this year and having the memories of the stuff that they had in their home at Christmas that has now been passed on to the members of my family some of which I have here with me in my room and just these things that mean so very much to me and have those memories with them that remind me of them um, is something that I'm so very thankful for and I, I just don't know what else to say other than those things are so very special because it is a reminder of them and the life that they lived, the example that they set, and I'm so thankful to have that godly, wonderful example of two people that did life together, that loved each other so much, that worked to do the things that would bring glory to God, that did things to help others that I believe went above and beyond the call of duty in a lot of cases. And just having the memory of them, having the memory of the person that they were, the type of person that I want to aspire to be, is something that I'm so thankful to have. And with the fact that um, it comes out so vividly to me this Christmas in the decorations, um, is something that I'm so thankful for. But I'd like to know what some of your special Christmas memories are. If you could leave those in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. And happy December, happy Vlogmas, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.